Hello friends. Well, welcome to Nate's Art Lab collaboration and Art by Sparkle. And I'm Sparkle. So this month our challenge was to do a wing pour or a waterfall pour. Well, I tried the wing pour and as you will see, I ended up having to do something else with it. Okay, so the first thing I did, I wanted to have a base already down there. And what I used, I'm using all mixed media paints. And I'm using the garnet. I use that as my base. And now, I put this little cup together. Um, this one right here actually came like this, okay, with the little one in the center. So then I took another cup that I had. It's just like a little bowl kind of thing. And I set it in there. I just glued it. Okay, so I'm going to put paint around the outside, paint around the inside, and then paint in the middle. And I'm going to start by putting pearl white around the outside. probably putting more in than I need. Okay, so we've got, <clears throat> excuse me, pearl white around the outside. Then, I could not decide, whoops, fumble fingers here. I couldn't decide between these colors the rose, the copper, and then this pretty peach champagne. So, what I'm going to do, <clears throat> I'm going to use a little bit of each in that next inner circle. Let me just peel this off. I haven't used this one before and I love it. And I hope... It's going to be just what I want. And I think I'll start with the uh, peach champagne. Then I'm going to put <clears throat> the copper and get these on tight. I can't get them off. Of course, I didn't wash that off very well. And we're going to put some copper in here. I should have checked the consistency on my chart to see if I needed a little water, but we'll see what happens. <clears throat> and then, shake this up a little bit. We're going to put the rose on the top. Just 
might be a little bit thinner, I'm not sure. That's about the same level. And then I'm going to put a garnet in the middle. <coughs> and that's what I used on my background. So they're all at the same level. All right. Boy, I'll tell you what. <laughs> oh, if Mixed Meteor Girl has done a wing pour with her paints, but I'm going to try it. And I've put, I've taped the back, and I have these little hooks because they're really easy to adjust if my board is not level, if my canvas isn't level. I know my, my table is level. I'm using one of these leveling boards from Loli Effie. And... <clears throat> I know that's level because I've got little levelers and I can see that and I can adjust the feet if they're not. So this is going to allow me to have something to hold on to. I'm holding on to one of those hooks. And I don't want to put it too high up. I just want to hope that I can, I'm steady enough to, to hold it straight. So, better stand up for this. You might have too much paint in here for this size, but we're going to give it a shot. I have no idea why I started doing the circles there. It turned out to be a really bad move. I thought I could save it by, you know, doing some things with my little uh, stir stick. And that was not such a great idea. And this is where I decided to just scrape it. Bazinga! Pretty wild! 
Ooh, I love it. I'm gonna leave it alone. I'm not gonna do anything. Just make sure this isn't going to run away anymore. And we're going to see how this dries. <laughs> I don't know. Does it look like a slab of ribs? Or does it look like it could be just like a, I don't know, Hawaiian fern or something? <laughs> oh goodness all right I'll be right back here are the wet results I love spark in here So I started to take a picture of the dry results and then I decided I was going to embellish it a little bit because it seemed, well, to me, it seemed a little plain. So here's what I'm doing for the embellishments. Okay, so I wasn't sure what I wanted to do. I knew I didn't want to do paint or outline with a gold pen. So what I decided I'm using some of my um, Boom Art Chameleon pigments. And this one is reddish brown, red, and bronze. And you can see the color. Let's see if you can see this okay. There's the color. And it, let's see, and it looks really cool on the spoon. And I started using, I started doing some of it here just to see if it would work. And I think it's going to work out great. I'm just going to brush it on dry. Um, I have a stencil brush and that seemed to work when I first tried it. So then after that's done, then what I will do is I will spray it with, I will spray it with, um, Kamar varnish just to set that dry pigment.
They say, the opera isn't done until the fat lady sings. Ooh, Verdi. Here it is. <laughs> I am so glad that I did those embellishments. It's a little hard to see the sparkle, but it is there. And that particular um, mica powder was just, I think, the perfect color. Now it's possible when I spray it with the Kamar varnish just to hold that, you know, um, those pigments in place. They may brighten up a little bit. But we shall see. I am really, really happy with this now. There are no mistakes, just happy accidents. And now you can see, you can see where those sparkles are. All right, so, there you have it. Thanks so much for joining me today. And make sure you check out the other artists in this collaboration. A playlist is in the description box, as are the colors that I used. And a high five again to Marcy at Mixed Media Girl. Love using your paints, darling. So, that being said, remember, keep your sparkle on and give it to someone you love. Bye-bye.